everybody, this is Andrea Austin and I'm with Andrea Austin Fitness Incorporated here in St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm really excited to be bringing to you an exclusive for golfers only core workout that you can follow. It's very easy to follow, it's simple and yet it's very effective for what I call plane of motion training. I realize as a golfer you have special needs in your movement patterns and so I'm bringing to you an entire sequence for you to follow on a weekly basis. I'd like you to perform this workout three to five times a week for amazing results on the golf course. So your core is defined more than you can imagine. It's not just your six pack, okay? It actually is defined from your quadriceps all the way to the top here at the base of your rib cage. And it wraps all the way around from your hamstrings, your glutes, and your back. So with these exercises I'm going to show you, it works on all of those parts. So the movements of the torso are this. You have forward flexion, you have back extension, you have lateral flexion, and then you have trunk rotation. And as a golfer, I know specifically that the rotation is very important. But if you want a really strong core, you want to work in all those planes of motion. One more time, we have forward flexion, we have back extension where you open up the heart, we have side to side movement or lateral flexion, and then we have trunk rotation. Okay? And all of these exercises are going to work on those. So the first exercise we're going to work on is forward flexion of the body. So you can see that I'm laying on this yoga mat and I get really comfortable. Lay back on that yoga mat and honestly it could be anywhere outside in the grass, um, on your living room floor, in your hotel room, doesn't matter the location, it's that you're comfortable. So you lay back and you anchor your whole back on the mat. Your knees, so check my knees out here and my feet, right? Do you see how they're aligned? My toes aren't out, my knees aren't in, everything's lined up just like that. And then coming back up here, you reach forward, you take an inhale, prepare. Exhale, and you slowly roll up. And then you inhale, articulating the spine back down. These are called roll-ups. So exhale up, and keeping everything in alignment here, inhale down. One more time, inhale, prepare. Exhale, roll up. And these might be really hard for you at first. If they're too hard for you, you can just do a crunch like this. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and then you would work toward those roll-ups, right? So always use modifications if you can't quite get there. So we're still doing flexion of the spine, but now we're going to work on the lower abdominals. So you lay back again on that yoga mat or on the grass or wherever you're at, and you actually lift your legs off of the floor. Anchor your hands Head is back, inhale, prepare, exhale, and roll the hips up, off of the mat, and slowly set them down. These are really tough. Exhale, lift, and inhale, rolling down. Now, if that's too hard, bend your knees and just lift your tailbone off of the floor. This is a fantastic place to start. Modification, right? Use those modifications if you need to. So again, it's exhale, lift, and inhale, rolling down. The next movement of the torso is lateral flexion. Okay, so laterally means to the side. And I'd like you to rise up onto your knees and your knees are about two fists distance apart, tucking your tailbone under, really engaging your core. You can see that from here my abdominals are disengaged and here I tuck and I'm engaging them just by kneeling, right? And from here, raising my arms up so you can see my arms are nice and high, shoulders are drawn down, you inhale, prepare, and then you exhale, laterally flexing without turning the body. So use your core strength as you do that, and then raising back up, inhale, exhale, lateral flexion, just like that. Now, if your hands up are too hard, right, so you bring the hands behind the head, that's a great way to modify here. So once again, lateral flexion to the side. Boy, I feel that stretch. I love this. The whole time I'm having my tailbone tucked under. Okay, so you can see if you pound down, feel, watch my abs working here 
as I'm laterally flexing, okay? One more thing to modify if you need to, you can drop your hands to your side like this. So this actually would be the easiest version right here because the lever of my arms, right, is lower, it's smaller, it's not as high. So you have level one, you have level two right here, and then if you're really like rock star, you can go up here, which I'm sure all of you are rock stars, of course. At least you're rock stars on the golf course, which um, Spizinger has been telling me, so, and I love that. All right, so there you go, lateral flexion. All right, the next movement pattern is back extension, and this is a very needed one. A lot of times we are hunched over our computers, or we're driving, and we tend to hunch like this, right? And that is flexion of the spine, but now we're going to open the heart more and get into spinal extension. So, I'd like you to get a Swiss ball, okay? If you don't have one, I highly recommend you go and buy one. These can be bought anywhere, really. I mean, I've seen them at Target, Walmart. I mean, honestly, anywhere they sell them. I've even seen them at, I think, at TJ Maxx. So, and they're about 10 bucks, amazing. Later, I'm gonna show you more you can do on the Swiss ball, so go buy one. Okay, so bring your feet back against the wall. Bam, like that, you wanna anchor. All right, you can see how I'm anchoring my feet. Then, I'm gonna lay over the ball, just like that, hands to the mat, okay? So the ball should be down on my lower abs, or your lower abs, right? So you kinda of have to situate a little bit there. Okay, so balancing. This takes a little bit of balance. So you bring your hands to the ball, lay over the ball, okay? And then inhale, raise up using your back muscles. Exhale, lay over the ball. So I exhale on the way down because the ball is pressing into my diaphragm, okay? Inhale, up without over pushing. Use your muscles. And exhale, lay over the ball. Back extension, amazing exercise helps to strengthen the whole backside from basically the base of your neck all the way down to your heels. You're gonna feel this one, it's great. So here the really familiar one to golfers is trunk rotation. Super important, obviously. And you're only as good as you feel strength and flexibility, okay, to be able to rotate. So once again, I've got my yoga mat here, or again, you'd be outside, it doesn't really matter where you are, it's that you use good form. So, Anchoring my feet, knees are in line with my ankles, right? Sitting down, anchored, leaning back from here. So if I'm up, it's a little easier, and the further I lean back, it gets tougher. So use your place where you're at. If you need to start higher and do this exercise, fine, no problem. If you grow and get better, then you lean back more. Your arms are centered, you inhale, prepare, and then you exhale and rotate the torso, even tapping your hands to the floor. So staying centered in the lower body, you shouldn't be shifting like this, all right? Your knees shouldn't be in or out, so everything's in alignment. And then we're just rotating, feeling that amazing strength building through the abdominals, the midsection. Exhale as you rotate, inhale, exhale. So rotation of the torso. All right, we're gonna actually work out with Spizinger now. Are you ready? I am ready. So the first one is roll-ups. So you can see he's laying on the mat here. His feet are flat. Go ahead and flatten your feet on the ground there. There you go, they're even. Yes, the knees are even. They're not splaying out. Place your hands up toward here. So reaching up, inhale, prepare Spizinger. Exhale, go ahead and roll up. Sitting tall at the top, and then roll back down. Good, 10 of them. Exhale, rolling up for nine. Inhale down, keep going. Exhale, up, inhale down, eight, and seven. Good, how do those feel? These feel easy, my abs came prepared. Six, <laughs> inhale, exhale for five, excellent. Inhale, exhale for four, looks great. And three two more and then you'll rest for two and last one lay all the way back to complete it and extend your legs long and stretch it out how was it it was it was good i can feel it in my abs and um, it's a good exercise still working on spinal flexion but now focusing on the lower abdominals spicing here is going to lift his legs up toward the ceiling here 
Good, and keeping his knees and feet together the whole time. Bring your hips to the mat. So come down, big inhale here. Now exhale, raise your hips up. There's one, try not to let your feet drop though. Good, exhale two, and inhale right there, back up, Spizinger for three. Is this 10? Excellent, now keep your knees together though, four. And inhale here, exhale, raise it up, five. Good, try to lift higher, push through your hands. That's it, six, almost there, four more. Exhale, seven, don't let your knees splay out though, oh no. Here's eight, good, two more, inhale. Exhale, nine, one more, really big oomph here, all the way up, and 10, and release your legs long, and stretch it out, and relax. How was it? That was a little more difficult, but for a guy in my kind of shape, I'm still doing all right. So the next exercise is lateral flexion. I'd like you to rise up onto your knees, Spizinger. Yes, and if you look down to your knees, make sure they are two fists apart. So if you just kind of make sure that the, the distance is right there, that is right. Correct. Now on your knees, I'd like you to tuck your tailbone under, engage your core. Good. And then reach your arms above your head from here. So rise up. Arms are totally straight. Reach, 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 reach higher. Good. Just like that. Inhale, prepare. And then exhale, laterally flex to one side, feeling the stretch down one side, hold there. Make sure your arms don't drop though, and then rise back up, big inhale here. Exhale, lateral flexion now to the other side. Do you feel that stretching? Yes, I do. Good, keep going. Inhale, raise up. Good, exhale, excellent. Good, inhale, raise up here. Here's number four, over to the side. Keep going, go, that's it. Inhale, raise up. Good, exhale to number five, we're doing 10 of them. Inhale, raise up, exhale, lateral flexion, anchoring through the knees, feel the stretch down the side. Inhale, raise up, we've got four more. Keep your arms straight though. Oops, yep, don't let them drop. Inhale, exhale, drop down to the side. Nice, oh I see you getting more flexible as you go. Two more, exhale here. Inhale, arms straight up, 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 exhale, reach. And then up, and then go ahead and sit back down onto your knees and relax. How was that? That was good. Did you feel the stretch down the side of your body? I did feel it. Spizinger is now moving into spinal extension with the Swiss ball. So you can see that his feet are anchored against the wall. Spizinger, bring your feet wider actually for stability. Yep, so your toes are anchored down. You're gonna lay over that good old Swiss ball. Excellent, and the ball should actually be lower on your abdominals. So do you remember how I kind of lift my body up and pull the ball down? So pull the ball, ball down, there you go, excellent. Excellent, now your legs are nice and straight. Take and lay over the ball here. So come on down, lay over the ball. Your hands are on the ball though, just like you had them. Good, inhale, raise up, use the whole back muscles. Straighten your legs here. Good, and then exhale as you lay over the ball, one. Do it again. Inhale here, good. Exhale down, again. Inhale here for number three, and exhale. Keep going. Keep your legs straighter though here, that's it. And down, good, keep going. Here's number five, I believe. Am I miscounting? I think it's eight. <clears throat> yeah, right, and here's six. Doing 15 reps. How are you feeling? Feeling good. <laughs> you can see me there in the mirror too. I'm behind the camera, of course. I hope you're counting because now I've lost count, Spizinger. 14. What? No, we're not. We've got like six more. Six and then down. Good. Inhale right here. Don't use your arms too much. Use your back muscles. Good. Five more. Let's go for five. Excellent. This looks great. And four. Excellent, spinal extension here, three. Excellent, let's go for two. Yes, last one, and one, and lay over the ball. Spinal rotation is on the platter now, so let's start with those feet. Feet are a little bit wider, Spizinger. Yep, make sure your knees are in line with your feet, which it looks like you are. Go ahead and let go of your knees and lean back a few inches. Hold there. Right there, you're probably gonna feel your core, is that correct? Yes, I do. Make sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath, it looks like you're holding your breath, Spizinger. We don't do that. 
So inhale, prepare, exhale, rotate to one side, tapping the floor, and then up and over to the other side. Keep that movement pattern going, but make sure that as you're rotating, you're not moving your knees around though, which he's kind of doing, he's kind of flopping a little bit. Don't flop. So bring your knees in alignment, excellent. Keep going. Let's go 10 and 10, excellent. Do you feel that? Nine. I do. And nine, spinal rotation here. Eight and eight, excellent. Keep going, breathe. Seven and seven, good. Tapping the floor with your hands. Six and six. Good. Five and five. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Four. If you want to make this harder, you could hold a little medicine ball. Three and three. That is a face of a workout. Two and two. Last one. One and one. And go ahead and relax. Wow. Okay. You've got it on. This is awesome. Now this is exactly what you need to wear here to work out because oh. the world is your gym, isn't it? It is. It is. Thank you. I mean, you. you know, if you're out on the golf course, why not make the golf course your gym? That's right. Clearly.